shouting, and Bethel is a place of
Ah! Uh-huh. 
the gold one. Thirty eight. The most car. Bring your attention. Hey, I'm okay. Boy, it's a lively time here. Joy. Happy in the Lord. If the Lord hadn't been here the last two meetings, I'm a badly deceived man. That's right. Had good visitation, good food, spiritual and natural. Joy. Good attendance. I couldn't help but thank him. My brother Jerry Brown, I believe he'd have been with the Lord of Blessings. Yes, sir. Well, brother Randall. A whole lot of our brothers and sisters have gone on with you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Lord. <laughs> and I think about them. About every day. Oh, yeah. Old Franklin Byron. Bobby Barry. Bobby Mays Warren. Numerous ones. Someday it'll be me and you, Brother Sean. Brother Bader, don't we got a uh, baptism immediately after the service closes. Brother James Robinette. Everybody knows him as Woody. And anybody else that wants to have him? Yeah, yeah. She's a good home. They asked me one time about <clears throat> why we baptize him. When they done been baptized in another order. Well, it's pretty simple. Yeah. If you're going to take one part of it, you will take all of it. Yes, sir. If I'm going to allow that baptism, I'll preach with you. I'll pray with you. Yeah. I'll take fellowship with you. That's what we believe. There's a separation there. <coughs> kind of like marriage. Just because you said I do one time, don't apply the second time. That's right. You have to go through that ceremony again. There's an order to everything. Amen. When Abraham went up upon the mountain to offer up Isaac, there was an order to the wood that he laid out. Yes, sir. There's an order to everything that's done in the church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And all the Old Testament things were in samples. <coughs> yeah. Not examples, but in samples to you and I how to conduct ourselves. Somebody said you don't need no rules in a church. <laughs> Scriptures teach that if your brother offends you, go to him and him alone. Yeah. Yeah. If he will not hear you, then take two or three with you. Won't hear them, then you've got a right to bring it to the church. Yes, Scripture also says, How dare any of you, <laughs> having an all against a brother, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Amen. He ain't talking about in the end of time. They saints right here in the Amen. church. Amen. You're the children of God. Amen. That's right. The children of the Almighty God. God of Abraham. Not because you chose God, but because He chose you. In Christ, His Son, before the world began. Amen. In the church. Listen, if you won't take part of the Bible, don't take none of it. It's all fitly framed together just like the members in the body. Yeah. Somebody said one time, well, they got enough elders there. They don't need me to be a preacher. God made a room for every gift that come along Amen. in the church. Amen. Can the little finger say that it's more important than the thumb? They're all equally important. Yes, sir. Yeah. When you baptize a brother or a sister, you baptize them into the full fellowship of the church. Amen. You never baptize them to make them a slave to you. No, no, no. They got a right to to a boat. Amen. 
question old Baptists why they do what they do. They've got guidance on what they do. Everything in order. You just don't pick one out and say, I'm going to ordain you, you're going to be a deacon today. No, no. If the elder is a calling of God, and it is, yeah. so is the deacon. That's right. Yeah, that's right. If God don't bless him with the gift, there's not no benefit to you no. as a deacon. Amen. Same thing with an elder. You baptize an elder when he's a member, and you ordain that elder, and if you ain't going to come out and fill his seat and feed the sheep, he don't need to be an elder. Amen. If he's able to. That's right. That's right. They all get old and ain't able to later on in life. Yeah, you can't, you can't. That's what they're there for. They're not there to crack the whip on you. Mm, they're they not there to run the church. Amen. They're not the head of the church. Amen. Or the association. Please stay. He that's greatest to me, let it be the servant. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Christ came not to be ministered unto, but to minister. Amen. And He brought in something that the world never had and never will know nothing about it. Praise the Amen. church. Amen. Under gospel dispensation. Amen. Under grace. Amen. Under the mercy of God. Amen. That's what I love. Amen. Praise the grace. Never cost you nothing either. No, 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 no. Cost him yeah. his yeah. life. Yeah. 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 But he said, I do always those things yeah. that yeah. please my Father. Yeah. Yeah. I came down from God out of heaven yeah. not to do my will, will, but the will of Him that sent yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Never left you ignorant of what it was. It's that this sin. Yeah. The will of Him that hath sent me. Oh, of all that my Father hath given me, me I should lose nothing. nothing. But I'll raise it again. The church. A lot of people think mom and dad's gone to heaven. Their spirit is. A lot of people think they're up there crying. You remember they had that song? The holes in the floor of heaven and the tears coming down. Made a lot of money. That's not so. But it's not true. No, it's not. Dead no nothing. Not true. Dead no nothing. Dead no nothing and the living know they must die. You and I know that. Somebody said, well, there'll be people who won't have to die. Yeah, they're going to die. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Sin must be finished. Amen. So they're not up our crime and pleading your cause. I'll tell you who pleaded your cause was the Lamb of God. And you're under the prayer that the Lamb of God pleaded to His Father and your Father. And He was God manifested in the flesh to take away our sin. So if He took it away, why are you trying to take it away? By water baptism. It. It's not the taking away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience yeah. toward God. Yeah. Yeah. I do get stirred up sometimes. Here. Are you talking? Let's hear it. Old Baptists don't do nothing without a reason. The baptism is essential for membership. In yeah. the church. Yeah. And it has to be done orthodoxly and in order. Amen. Amen. It ain't saying that nobody else ain't a child of God. No. Don't get me wrong, don't run in here. Sir. Only the Baptist was going to heaven, the old Baptist. No. It ain't true. No. No. You're blessed with knowledge that a lot of God's children, the majority of them, don't have. You're blessed with knowledge to know that there ain't nothing you can do about nothing for Him. Amen. It's signed, settled, and sealed in the blood of the Lamb of God. Amen. Amen. And God was 
pleased with that sacrifice. He turned his back on his only begotten son. For just a moment of time. He turned for mercies. If he had to turn his back on the lad, the lad could not have died. And the Bible says the sun was darkened in a clear day. He's the sun that was darkened with our transgressions and he appeased the wrath of God forever against me and you. Amen. I heard him say here last night, or not last night, but yesterday, you never was going to hell, the hell that people try to declare. There's a lake of fire. You was never bound for that. You've always been God's children. But you can get yourself in hell right here. And that's a place of confinement. The grave is even described as hell. Even the watery grave that John was in out of the belly of hell. Right on. It's of the Lord. If you ever come out of the Lord, had to burn you down. And the Lord, God spoke to the fish, and the fish vomited him up on dry ground. And then of that great sea was a three day journey, and began to end the first day. I'm going to say he got in a hurry. He was a preacher. He was a man. God and yet he revealed again God. We do it all the time. Time to give these a right this afternoon. Awful lot of sick folks. Let's say, John, I got people. Yeah, much people. We're all need prayer. Yeah, You know, if it depended on me and you naming a name and a street address. They'd be in bad shape. Yeah, that's right. But they've got a God in heaven that you can't acquaint him with anything. Yeah, that's Amen. Right. Amen. He never sleeps, he never slumbers. No, never his eyes is over the righteous and his <coughs> ears open under their prayers. Are open under their prayers. Yeah. 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 See, he's like me and you in a way where well, we're like him. Eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Even spoken about smelling the sweet fragrances. Yeah. He hears our prayers. He feels what you and I feel. We have not a God which cannot be touched with the infirmities of our afflictions, but He was in all points tempted, even as you and I are. You reckon they tempted Christ? You reckon the heart tempted Him? Everything tempted you, they tempted him with. For as you and I might fall, he never fell. That's right. No doubt found in his mouth. He was angry one time. He was angry one time and he drove them out of the temple. He? Yet he said not. Peter cursed and swore that he knew not the Lord. You don't know what you'll do in the flesh. That's right. That's right. That's right. You will fail every day. And the Lord looked upon him. Yep. He knew what he did. <coughs> he knew he was going to do it before he, he went did. to the garden. He did. He did. He did. And Peter <coughs> ran out, wept bitterly, and repented. Yeah. Elder Tim Sloan to open service this morning. I hope the Lord will bless every one of them. Yeah, Listen, bless him, Lord. If yeah, the Lord man. blesses them, you won't care if it's 12.30 when you get out. Or yeah. walk. Yeah. Make sure walk. Yeah. Elder David May to follow. Yeah. yeah. Bless yeah, him, Lord. I knew you'd say that. Yeah. Yeah. Elder Jeremy Jacobs to follow that. Yeah. Elder David Jacobs will close out. To get a Elder Brian Moore called this mission. So I think probably maybe we'll let the dismission and the prayer for the water go in here before we go out there, Brother Les. Be all right. Yeah. Can you be all right. Yeah. Same prayer. Uh, listen. Any of you in here at any time? Besides, you want a home with the primitive Baptist. Yes. Don't worry about where somebody's standing up here preaching or not. You come on. Absolutely. Yeah. One of the hardest things you and I will ever do is to forsake ourselves. Deny yourself. 
Follow the. You can't take up my name. God paid you, brother. Oh, no. He said, take up your cross. Five words. Five words. And I tell you what, you don't know the Lord till the Lord comes to your life. Brother David Allen said, like, yes, he never knocked on my door and said, can I come in? He just had to. He came when it pleased him. Sometimes they're 30 years old, sometimes they're 70 years old when he comes. It's up to the Lord. Yep. You try to do this stuff on your own, you're in trouble already. Yep. Amen. Come on, Brother Timothy. Pray, Lord, bless you, Brother Tim. Lord, bless you, Tim. And uh, where's the food in Brother Gary back? I guess that's what a gift we're thinking of that it made over in the morning. <coughs> made a promise that I'd get up when called on. But I've been sitting in a heavenly home this weekend. Yeah. I feel like that God has a home in heaven for us for every child of grace, but I've been in my heavenly home all weekend. Yeah. I don't know how it is with you, but sometimes I get a little down. Especially the last couple of years, get the longing for this right here. I was sitting over there a while ago thinking in my father's house or many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. The brother's going to be baptized. This scripture comes through my head no man. That means woman too. Can you come to me except my father would sit me dry away. I need way to No wise catch me out. He's going to raise us again on the last day. Are you looking yeah. for that? I, this whole weekend, one of the brothers preached it yesterday. It's a good day to go. I, I felt that way all weekend yeah, too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. There's something inside of me that longs to go back home. Yeah. Praise His sweet name. He made us that promise. He's coming back. It's not my intention to take up time in the opening, but my heart is so full this morning. I have a love for you that I could have never had if He hadn't gave it to me. Yeah. Gave us that as evidence, Brother John. He, yes. he said, if You've changed from death unto life when you love the brother. Do you feel that love this morning? If you do, I'm going to tell you something. You've got, you got something the world can't touch. They can't take it from you. There's not enough demons and devils that can pluck one out of them mighty hands. We're on the way home. <coughs> when the brother said it, I, maybe it was yesterday. Until then, this will do. Ain't you glad to be part of this yeah. little garden? I'm blessed to see a, a few of his little flowers here yeah. this morning, yeah. Brother John. But someday, someday soon, I feel in my heart, the whole family of God's going to get up. It don't matter if we're here or at home. Those that are alive and remain, they too got to be changed yeah. in a moment, in a twinkle of an eye. I think about death. You know, we're getting a little older here in this old world. I, I but you know, he said he made us a promise to go with us all the way, yeah. even until the end. I believe he's right there. We go as far as we can yeah. with him, Brother Sean. Our loved ones, but I want to tell you, he goes all the way. Yeah. And listen, if you've been killed dead to the love of sin and folly and made alive, you ain't never going to die. You'll be sleeping, you'll be resting in his. Yeah. That's the hope I have. Amen. Brother Sean, start 38 and it for us if you will. I believe it was asked for. <coughs> Love you this morning. Love you, brother. Oh,
body free. Christ is the 
Seated on the right hand of the Father, making intercession for the saints here below. Yeah. So if there ain't no saints here, uh, who's he making intercession for? Uh, the saints. Yeah, They're here, brother. Amen. Uh, uh, I hope that the Lord will bless me to say a few words. Bless you, Lord. I tell you what, though, been a, it's been a heaven below that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, he's, uh, uh, in the by in the scriptures there, it says heavens in places, don't yeah. 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 And that means more than one, don't yeah. Now there's one eternal heaven. Yeah. Yeah. That he's coming back to get the ones that he bought and paid for to take them home to heavenly be, brother. We'll be, we'll be with you in the morning. You know, these are morning of all mornings are coming, brother. Yeah. yeah. You, you talk, you talk, you talk about a morning, brother. We've never seen a morning like this. Amen. Morning. And if I didn't believe in the resurrection, I wouldn't be here. No, sir. And I'll tell you what: if you don't believe in the resurrection, you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, because He said, "I am the way, I am the way, I am the truth." He's all the law to the children of God. Yeah. And brother, I'm going to tell you what, you know, uh, sometimes we'll say, well, as Peter did there, you know, he said, I, I, I won't deny him. And I'm going to tell you what, if the Lord don't, don't stand up in you, it's hard to say what you'll do. Amen. You'll be as a dog. You'll return to your vomit. Won't you? yeah, uh, from the, and the sound of the water in the mouth. Yeah. And I'll tell you one thing, if the Lord stand up in you, uh, you they could cut your head off and you wouldn't deny it. Amen. I mean, I tell you what, if he don't, whenever they go to cut your head off, but you deny him. I'm going to yeah. tell you what the flesh will do. I mean, I'll tell you one thing. I love the Lord this yeah. morning. Amen. I love his word. I love all those yeah. around me. 
Now, brother, dear, don't it appear that Jesus Christ has found me? Huh? I tell you what, He found me. He wasn't lost. I was a man was lost. But I was growing undone without God, without hope in the world. Oh, but I'm glad He said in the world. He seated on the right hand of the Father. I make an intercession for the same chair below. And I'll tell you what, I bless that be the name of the Lord. I'll tell you what, only time a man can even I praise God or even thank Him. And you know, they say be thankful. I but only time I can be thankful in whatever the Lord I bless you. I'll be able to be thankful. And I'll tell you what, how you can request me to pray for you. I'll tell you what, if a prayer don't come down, she won't be answered. It'll be only word on their part. But I'll tell you this, but our God has forever had a people but forever. I'll tell you what, if He chose you to be a child, but I'm going to tell you right now, that would be a beginning, wouldn't it? And I'll tell you what, eternal life, there's no beginning to have no end. Tell you what, how we did not say it in a high if we was a God, his children had never been a God to the torment. But I'll tell you what, we're of his seed, of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Are you of your father's seed? And he even told them, about, he said, Say not you have Abraham of your father, for your father is a devil, and a deed him you will do. And but I'll tell you something, you don't take a sheep and make a goat. You know, I'll tell you. Tell you one thing, and I'll tell you something. You forever be in His children. Right? We're not going to take up any time, and I'll tell you one I love the Lord, and I love His Word, and I'll tell you what, I want to praise Him on this side. Right? I want to praise Him here, and I'll tell you what, He called man for, He called Him, and I praise Him, I and glorify Him, and I hear Him, and I'll tell you what, the call went out, and who did it go out to? He went out to the one that God sinner to him. Yeah, yeah. And if you ain't got the call, they won't do you a bit of good out of going to water. How about if he's called you? Be obedient. I know what the Spirit means. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you what, you'll receive your reward. Yeah. And if you got a reward, you will receive it right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, know, you didn't do anything to get heaven out of heaven in the morning. No. Your elder brother come here and he entered in one time and perfected prayer for whatever those that are sanctified. Yeah. Yeah. It's to about what the Lord Jesus Christ does for you. Yeah. Not what you do. We all done the same thing. Yeah, we all sin that comes short yeah. of the glory yeah. of God. And it took the shed blood yeah. of your elder brother yeah. to redeem you back to the Father. And if He redeemed you back, you must have been His. Yeah. 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 And I believe in a sure salvation. Amen. It's in the Lord. But I can have it one minute and lose it the next. But it's in the Lord. Amen. And He come here, your elder brother, died on the cross, redeemed you back. He paid the price that you and I owe. He didn't cost us nothing, but He paid it. He paid it in full. He entered in one time into the holiest of hope. And I'll tell you what, He perfected forever. If they were sanctified, you've been sanctified and yeah. by the Lord Jesus Christ. If you got any righteousness, but it's the imputed right here. Do what He does. Amen. Not what you do. I'm going to tell you what you done to the same thing I do. You sin that comes short yeah. of the glory of God. He took the same thing to redeem each and every hour of promise back to and that was the shed blood and He bowed His sweet head on the cross and gave up the ghost and they pierced Him in the side for with come blood and water. There was enough for to baptize every hour of promise Amen. into the one body. Amen. And there's only one Lord, one faith, one man, and there's only one church, and that's the church of the truth and the living God. Yeah. Yeah. And brother, we make up the body, but yeah. brother, he's the head of it. He's the head of it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah. But I will tell you what, I say it a lot of times. We got a victory. Yeah. We got a victory. Ah, but he brought it out for yes, us. Sir. He brought it out for us. We got a victory through the uh, shed blood of the Lord yeah. Jesus Christ. And I'm going to tell you right now, but he didn't come and try to save nobody. He come and saved yeah. his yeah. children. The ones that the Father sent him here uh, to redeem back to. He saved every one of them. And in spite of the I'm going to tell you one thing. Uh, there's a lot of God's 
still uh, going contrary to His Word out here. But I'll tell you one thing. Heaven is their home. Amen. I'll tell you that. But I'll tell you one thing. If you want the joy, be obedient to this church. Yes, yeah. To live yes, after the flesh is dead. Yes, but to live after the Spirit is life uh, and peace. Amen. That's what I want to do. Amen. I want to be obedient unto my father as I, our elder brother was unto his Thank our you. father was. Yeah. And we yield, yeah. we got the yeah. same father. Brother. And that's what yeah. is Jesus Christ. God is our father. Brother Jerusalem is our mother. And I'm going to tell you what, uh, we make up the body. But he's the head of it. Yeah. There's only one, only one faith, one baptism. But there's only the one body. Amen. Uh, now bring it out of the way. Thank you, Tom. And I'll tell you one thing. Whenever the Lord will bless you, buddy, it's the easiest thing you ever done. Yeah. But I'll tell you one thing, whenever you are laboring at it, it's the hardest thing you ever done. I'm going to tell you one thing, it's not an easy place to stay. Whenever the Lord will bless you and the Spirit might lift you up, you know something? I, I don't know, but I'm going to say, I, I think about that ark, brother. The ark back there. There was three floors to her, wasn't it? Yeah. There yeah. was a bottom and the middle floor and, and the top floor. There was three floors. Well, there was the first half, the second, and the third, brother. And I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes the Lord will uh, carry you up to the third heaven. And I don't think that's yeah. eternal heaven, but uh, I believe it's right here yeah. in the church. Yeah. Sometimes you get up just a little bit on a little hill, and then sometimes you get a little higher. And yeah. sometimes, yeah. brother, I'm going to tell you what, I'll sometimes you're right. carrying plumber, yeah. and yeah. you're carrying up on top of Mount Zion. Yeah. Cry out yeah. and yeah. just turn yeah. off. Yeah. And praise God for the victory that you have. Yeah. Elder brother Ron, he didn't cost you anything, but he brought it out whenever he bowed his head up on the cross there and said it was finished and give up the ghost. I declare to you that your salvation stands the show. Have a this seat. I'm the Lord knows I live there here. And I'm going to tell you right now, I heaven will be your home. My brother, in spite I need no power, presence of life to ever come and ever separate you from my love of God. Uh, because he loved you uh, with an everlasting love. Uh, but, uh, he loved you so much. And uh, he sent uh, his own son down yeah. to her, uh, to die in your room yeah. and in your stead and redeemed you back out uh, of the Father because you sold yourself uh, for it all. He had nothing uh, to pay with. Uh, but I'll tell you one thing, but uh, the victory, I was, yeah. I'll tell you yeah. something. I was in the Lord Jesus. Yeah. That's for your victory. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you what, and this is like this. If you heard the call, but I'll be obedient to her. I come in her the kingdom. And I'm going to tell you what, come in her the kingdom and prayer for you from the foundation of the world. And I'm going to say this I laid more worlds than one. There's more worlds than other than one. The world were framed by Him. Amen. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to be willing to have the same I ran out of rap. And I'll tell you what. I love the Lord. And I'll tell you what. If you don't, don't love your brother in whom you have seen, how can you say you love God in whom you have not seen? But I'm going to tell you what. I love my brother. I love to be able to come out with him. Have the fellowship with him. That's my life. That's my joy. And what time I live here about it. And I'll tell you what. There's a table set and a food up there. I tell you what, I love to be able how to get out there. I love in the green pastures there. I like an old sheep. And I'm going to tell you something. We are sheep. If we are God, we are sheep. I love with the sheep of His pasture. I rambling around. I, I wish see they like I wish it just lied out for me. I bet it won't. The Lord is the one that does her, but uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Well, you got something to shout about. You got something to praise him for. And I wanna be I found about my father business. I wanna praise him and glorify him. I for the victory that I have through his shed blood. I want to eat the 
here in the name of the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, for one time and perfected forever. But I'm going to tell you what. If he shed that blood for you, heaven is your home. And I'm going to go a little further than that. You forever they had uh, eternal life. You was in God. You was in Christ. God. You was in Christ with God. In with God. Well, you did Christ with God. And so where was you at? Your life was already there. You didn't know anything about it. I had life for years. I didn't know anything about it. Uh, until it pleased God to give me eyes to see it with and a heart to receive it with and reveal it to me what that He had already done for me. Yes. Uh, but He'd already saved me. He'd already uh, saved me. But then it was a call without and it went out to his children. Run. I come in her to give. I'm going to tell you what. You would say, I heaven, heaven is ready for everything yours. But I'll tell you what, coming in her the kingdom, which he's uh, talking about right here. But we have an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, and faded and all the way, reserved in heaven for you. But blessed be the might of the Lord. We get out of the way. We are uh, rambling around too much. <laughs> Uh, thank God. Thank God. I tell you what, you don't have to wait to go to heaven, but sometimes you go to heaven and I hear some you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 come on my mind about it twice. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. Read I said the third heaven, brother. I'm gonna tell you something. One time it may I may never be blessed again like that, but I'll tell you what, one time in my life, uh, I was carried up, brother, till it was like a mist was around me. I couldn't see nobody, didn't see nobody. And it was just a mist. And I'll tell you who uh, who was there with me. It was the Lord, brother. That's the only thing I could see. I was looking to see him, but I couldn't see him, but I was looking to see him. He was so close. I'm going to tell you what now. The Lord will bless you right here in this life to be able to, to feed you. Feed you by now. He, he said feed them least they faint of all the But we faint. And I'm not talking about natural food either. I'm talking about spiritual food. I'll tell you what. During this uh, COVID and all that stuff, but I walked around as a dead man for a while. I just walked around as I was dead, bud. Because it seemed like I felt like everything was gone. Yeah. But you take the church from me, I might as well go ahead to the just go yeah, ahead and put me in the grave. But, because the world and the things he killed me to, but they don't mean anything to no, me. Don't mean nothing. I have to exist here until the Lord takes this prayer. Amen. Brother Jeremy, pray for me. Once again, my face is this morning, and I
Why? Why did he call by this sinner? By in. I ain't worthy to be among you. I feel most of the time I'm like a dog among you. But if you feed a dog, he'll come back. I know where to go. How to get fed. I know how where to go. How to feed from the master's table. How he takes us there. How he takes us up. How to that third heaven that my, my brother uh, uh, before me uh, uh, so wonderfully uh, uh, preached about. Uh, uh, we know uh, a little something uh, about yeah, heavenly we do. places, yeah. don't we? Uh, uh, we don't know uh, uh, these things uh, uh, because of our own uh, uh, good works. Uh, uh, we know them uh, uh, because God uh, uh, it pleases Him yeah, yeah. Uh, to reveal these yeah, things yeah. unto us. Uh, yeah. uh, flesh don't know nothing about it. But you've got something living in you. It'll oh, never die. Uh, it's foreverly been. Uh, and it foreverly will be. Uh, uh, it belongs uh, uh, to God the Father. Uh, and He gave it uh, uh, to us. Uh, and it, uh, uh, we, we uh, uh, get taken uh, uh, to that third heaven. Uh, and we're blessed uh, uh, to see uh, uh, heavenly places. Uh, uh, we see it uh, uh, through a glass uh, uh, darkly. Uh, I don't know what this sinner here had ever done to deserve it. I can tell you what I've done. I've done all the sinning. He done all the saving. He hung on that cross between heaven and earth. They pierced him in the side. They nailed him to the cross. They beat him. They scourged him. They ripped the flesh from his body. And they placed the crown of thorns on his head. Uh, to mock him, uh, uh, to mock his kingdom, because uh, uh, they didn't think much of it. Uh, oh, well, here we are, uh, uh, 2,000 years later, uh, hey, and she's still yeah. raging. I'm uh, uh, yeah. in chorus. Uh, hey, brother. The king's still here. The king, man. And yeah. she'll be here when time. They're coming out. They're saying no more. Amen. Coming here. Raging door. Raging door. Yeah, taking her home to see the father. <clears throat> He's got a lot of patience with me. As with us all. Lord I don't. He does not. I don't understand much. <clears throat> that's in this yeah. book. What little bit that I do understand, He blessed me with that. That's right. Yeah. Sometimes I find out I know more than I thought I did. Yeah. Yep. He knows us better than we know ourselves. We're only we're only as strong as that spirit is. Yeah, that's right. When it strives with us. Peter knew something about that, didn't he? Peter, Peter told him there. Peter, Peter was very a uh, very uh, a leadership type person, a uh, uh, very uh, uh, ambitious, I uh, uh, wanted to take charge, take control, always, uh, always seemed like Peter was finding himself uh, uh, trying to help the Lord, uh, uh, trying to uh, uh, point out problems that maybe he didn't know. Uh, uh, the Lord uh, uh, knows everything. Uh, uh, he saw uh, uh, the end from the beginning and he declared that uh, uh, we can acquaint him uh, uh, with nothing. Uh, uh, but they, uh, uh, they try to help him. Uh, uh, they even try to help Help him uh, uh, when they fed uh, uh, 5,000 men, uh, uh, not counting uh, uh, women and children. Uh, uh, he fed them there uh, uh, with five loaves uh, and yeah. two fish. Uh, uh, there was a lad there uh, uh, that brought that. Uh, uh, there was 5,000 men, uh, and not counting women and children. Uh, uh, nobody uh, uh, brought any food. Uh, and then brothers, uh, uh, they went to the master uh, and they said, uh, uh, Lord, 
Uh, we ought to send them uh, uh, into town. Uh, they'll be hungry. Uh, uh, they didn't realize uh, that they was with uh, uh, the Lord of Lords. Uh, uh, that He uh, uh, could do all things. Uh, uh, he could take uh, a little food, uh, a little land brought, uh, and bless it uh, uh, to feed multitudes. Uh, uh, he can take uh, a little bit uh, of one brother uh, uh, has uh, uh, when he comes to stand in this place. Uh, uh, which, by the way, uh, a few moments ago, I uh, uh, wasn't anything at all. Uh, but he can take a little bit uh, and he can bless it uh, and he can break it uh, and he can feed uh, a multitude. Uh, uh, he told them there uh, uh, to break up in groups of fifties. That's right. Yeah. Set them down. Uh, Set them in the grassy in places the grassy in the desert land. Yes, sir. We're in grassy places yeah, in the desert land. Yes, sir. Why do you reckon they had to sit in groups of fifty? There's an order to this thing. All throughout it, there's order. Somebody asked me one time, I uh, uh, said, uh, uh, where uh, uh, in the Bible uh, uh, do you find Scripture uh, uh, to support uh, uh, having uh, associations uh, and all this uh, uh, type stuff that we have? Uh, uh, well, I told them, uh, uh, it's all throughout the Bible. Uh, everything uh, uh, the Master done, uh, He done it in order. Uh, and I'm so thankful uh, uh, that we have uh, uh, these associations and the way uh, uh, that our forefathers set them up. Uh, uh, why a uh, uh, preacher? Why did they set them up? Uh, uh, they set it up uh, uh, to protect something. Uh, uh, what did they set them up to protect? Uh, uh, they set it up uh, uh, to protect uh, uh, this doctrine uh, uh, that we hold uh, uh, so dear uh, uh, to our hearts. And it ain't old Baptist doctrine. It's God's doctrine. It's God's doctrine. Come out of the lids of this Bible. And it's the truest. Yeah. Doctrine that there is. The only true God. You see, we got these churches and we had these communions and they're dear to my heart. And I love to have them. Uh, but there's purposes in these union meetings uh, uh, that they set up for us uh, uh, years ago. Uh, they set it up uh, and they called elders uh, uh, from other churches because uh, uh, they wanted to hear uh, uh, the gifts. Uh, uh, they wanted to make sure uh, uh, they were still uh, advocating uh, uh, that same uh, uh, sound uh, uh, salvation by grace, a uh, uh, sovereign doctrine, uh, uh, the only doctrine uh, uh, that's worth anything. Uh, uh, God's doctrine. Uh, uh, they set it up that way uh, and then they set up uh, other associations here uh, and they got fellowship uh, and we fellowship uh, uh, with each other uh, and we go and we visit. Uh, uh, that's why uh, uh, That's why we put our visitors uh, in the sand because uh, we want to hear. It's the same. Amen. I sat in my seat over there the other day or earlier today. Randall was up talking about our Lord. He's taking everything we got. Yeah. He's taking everything we got talking about. I'm so glad it's that way because it's the same thing. Yeah. Every man that stands in this place uh, uh, should be telling you uh, uh, the same story uh, about a God, uh, a Savior uh, uh, that come down uh, uh, from God out of heaven uh, uh, that in man uh, uh, through his mother's uh, uh, womb a uh, little virgin girl uh, into a poor family of uh, uh, the humblest way uh, uh, that he could have uh, uh, come in here uh, 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 for a purpose. Amen. Amen. He come to die. Yeah. And he knew it. It didn't surprise him. It had been prophesied for thousands of years. It was done in order. The whole thing was done in order. You can go back in the Old Testament and read the prophecies. It lines up perfect. It was done in order. He came. He came for it. He come for that purpose. Oh, when He uh, uh, gave sight uh, uh, to the blind, uh, I'd say Calvary uh, uh, was on His mind then. Uh, uh, when He uh, uh, made the lame uh, to walk. Uh, uh, when He called Lazarus uh, uh, from the tomb uh, and blessed Him uh, uh, with life again. Uh, I'd say uh, uh, that He was thinking about uh, uh, His own tomb uh, uh, that He would have to sleep in uh, for three short days. Uh, I'd say he thought about it. At Twelve years old, teaching in the temple. Heavenly light before him. They said, "Parents, they lost him. They was out two, three days journey and lost him. You ever lost your child? They lost." They lost their child. They knew something about this child. Uh, they were ignorant uh, uh, to what he was here for. Uh, uh, they were told all about it uh, uh, from before uh, uh, he was born into this world. Uh, uh, they knew, uh, uh, Mary knew, 
uh, uh, what he was here for. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, not only uh, had she misplaced her child, uh, uh, but she lost uh, uh, the master. Uh, uh, she lost uh, uh, her savior. Uh, and they went, uh, uh, we got to find him. Uh, uh, how do you get uh, uh, when you uh, uh, feel like uh, uh, that the master's left you? Uh, uh, you want to go find him, don't you? Uh, you want to go uh, uh, gather around uh, uh, his children? Because uh, that's where the kingdom is. Uh, it ain't this building here. Uh, it's right here. Yeah. We're yeah. yeah. man. man. <laughs> they went and found him. He was astonishing people. He said, Shall I not be about my father's business? Shall we not be about our father's business? He give us a vineyard. He put us in this vineyard. He blesses us to work in this vineyard. It's the best job I ever had. It is the best job I ever had. And it's got the greatest pay that I've ever experienced. I love this vineyard that He called us into. He told them there about a parable. He was talking to the people there. And He said the kingdom of heaven. What was He talking about? He didn't talk about that heaven over yonder. See, we needn't be concerned about that. It was took care of on Calvary. This kingdom right here. This kingdom of heaven that we're blessed uh, uh, to dwell in from time to time uh, uh, find rest uh, uh, for our souls. Uh, uh, he said uh, uh, that kingdom uh, of heaven uh, is life into a vineyard uh, and the master of the vineyard uh, uh, went out uh, early in the morning uh, about uh, uh, 6 o'clock uh, 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 the first hour uh, on the Jewish clock uh, uh, was about 6 a.m. Uh, I went out uh, and called laborers uh, uh, into the vineyard uh, and did a contract with them. Uh, they uh, uh, had an agreed upon uh, uh, price uh, uh, that he would pay them uh, a penny a day. Uh, uh, back then, uh, I know today, uh, a penny don't go too far. Uh, but back then, a penny uh, uh, that would supply your needs uh, uh, for one full day. Uh, uh, they would go uh, and they would work in this vineyard uh, uh, from 6 o'clock in the morning uh, until 6 o'clock in the evening uh, on the 12th hour. Uh, and they would get that penny. And they agreed upon it. They had a contract. But then, the third hour, the third hour, he went out again, likewise. This time, he found men standing idle. Yeah. In the marketplace. The master of the vineyard is God the Father. Yeah. In this parable, yeah. He's the Father. Yeah. He, don't, he don't go out to other vineyards no. and call them out. He don't go and talk to the seed of the adversary. He doesn't concern Himself with them seed because they're not His. See, He's only concerned about His seed. So He went out and did a vineyard again about the third hour and did it again about the sixth hour and He called these men that were standing idle in the marketplace doing nothing, just standing idle. See, there was a time in this sinner's life where I was a dead alien center. I didn't know nothing about this church here. I didn't care nothing about this church here. I didn't hate it. I didn't care nothing about it. I was a dead man. I could do nothing. I was standing idle in the marketplace. The world. The world. Yeah. And then he went out about the 11th hour. The 11th hour. Yeah. That's five o'clock in the evening. Hey, but an hour left to work. Yeah, I got men that work for me. I wouldn't call nobody to work for me at five o'clock in the evening. They'd be worthless. Yeah. That last hour, you wouldn't get nothing done. We can't do no work in this vineyard unless He blesses us to do the work yeah. in the first place. That's right. He didn't call us into this vineyard uh, uh, for His benefit. Uh, uh, he called us into it uh, uh, for our benefit. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's our hand home uh, uh, right here on his footstool uh, until uh, uh, he comes back uh, on that great cloud of glory uh, and calls the sleeping dust uh, uh, from the ground uh, and calls us back uh, uh, to meet uh, on that cloud with him uh, uh, to go back uh, uh, to glory with him. Time to pay 
everybody up. They got there. <laughs> it was see them them other brothers they called. The third hour, sixth hour, ninth hour, eleventh hour. They didn't have no agreement. They didn't have no contract. There wasn't no deal. It was just go work. And we'll pay you what's right. And they went. They went by faith. They went by faith. We come by faith. We come to this vineyard by faith. Our pay. It ain't what we're going to experience in the hereafter. That ain't it. Because uh, uh, if that was a pay, uh, uh, we'd do something to earn it, wouldn't we? Uh, uh, we can't do nothing uh, uh, to earn that uh, over there. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ bought it uh, and paid for it uh, uh, with His own precious blood. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, He called us. He called them up and it was time to pay. And He called them first ones. He called them last ones first. And ones He called in the 11th hour. Only worked them an hour. You ever... You ever sit next to a brother or sister in a church that's been, that's maybe, maybe you've been in a church 20, 30, 40, some of you've been here 60, 70 years. You've been in a church a long time and you sit next to a brother that's been there maybe a, six months or a week or two and the Lord just pours it out on you. Yeah. And it's just, you, you feel it. The Spirit just glows. It's like the, it's like the wind. You can't see it, but you can see the effects of it. And I've been in meetings where I didn't feel a thing. And everybody around me was feeling it. They was getting their penny. You see, it ain't, it ain't, well, I'm not his counselor. I'm not his counselor. It's up to him. It's up to him. And he paid that first man, or that last man that only worked an hour, paid him a penny. And he paid all the rest of them. Pain. They thought they'd get more of and then, and then first ones, they was mad. Yeah, they was upset. We have borne, we have borne the heat of the day. Uh, we have been here working. all this time working. Uh, have we borne uh, uh, the heat of the day? Uh, uh, have you ever felt like uh, uh, that you borne uh, uh, the heat of the day? Uh, I'm thankful uh, uh, that God uh, uh, blessed me uh, uh, to feel like uh, uh, that He called me in uh, uh, in the early part uh, of my life, uh, uh, in the early morning hours, uh, uh, because of uh, uh, this work uh, uh, in this vineyard. Uh, if He blesses you uh, uh, to do it, uh, uh, it's the most blessed. A precious work that you'll ever do. And I ain't talking about standing in this place. That's part of it. But there's a whole lot more to it. And I ain't talking about coming in on Sunday and building your seat. Although that's a big part of it too. But we're to one, to love our Lord and our God with all our mind, strength, body, and soul. And our brothers. We're to love our brothers. That's sisters too. Amen. They come out of the rib. They're one. As ourselves. Love our brothers as ourselves. We have a duty. You have a brother or sister on your mind. You check on them. You call on them. You put them first. You put them first. We're servants. We're all servants. We're so, so fortunate to be able to have this meeting. Amen. I am so thankful. We've been two years trying to get this. And I'm so thankful that He has blessed us together again one more time. God. This is, this is not new. There's nothing new under the sun. This ain't new. If time lasts, it'll happen again. It's happened before. It's God's kingdom. It'll stand forever. God bless you all is my prayer. Pray for Brother David. Give God the glory. If you got anything out of that, give Him the praise.
of Jerusalem this weekend. Yeah. God has blessed us you, to come together. Yes, he has. Yeah. He's blessed us to sit down yeah, in heavenly place. places. Yeah. Yeah. He leads us besides the still water. Oh, yeah. He restores our, our soul. You feel that? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I have felt that this weekend. I have, I have been blessed. Yeah. The singing I'm like my brother. I love better than to eat. I love to try at least yeah. to sing. But there ain't nothing in this world where you have God's people together to hear that sound. Amen. That sound like is none other. That sound. How that sound that God. I mean, he just, he, he smiled upon us yeah. up through the course of this weekend. He's blessed you and I yeah. to come in from the storms of this life. He's blessed. He's blessed the turtle children of God uh, to be heard in our land yeah. one more time. He's blessed us to soar our children of God into the high country. And I'll tell you something. I can't even begin to thank Him enough. I can't praise Him enough. I'll tell you today, a blessed children of God I've dreaded from the moment they announced an arrangement this morning coming to this place. But I'll tell you what, I want to praise God. I want to thank Him for what He's blessed us with here in this life. This God of glory, let me tell you something, children of God, you and I, how we look how with the greatest of expectation and a hope how these blessed brothers and sisters have, have spoken about these brethren yeah. have been blessed to preach upon this hope uh, uh, that is so sweet to our soul that God, children of hope, uh, yeah. uh, He has come down uh, among the flowers. He's come uh, yeah. uh, through the garden. He sat with us a spell uh, uh, this weekend and blessed yeah. us. Uh, I said, Diane, I thought about this. Uh, I'm sitting there on my seat. Uh, I thought about this, children of God. Uh, uh, through the course of the past uh, a while no doubt uh, uh, you and I maybe we felt like uh, uh, the old brother that was on the back side of the desert uh, uh, we might have felt like uh, a bird alone a star alone a uh, rooftop uh, uh, maybe like we didn't have uh, a friend in the world uh, uh, brother Jeff uh, uh, when he comes brother Jeff uh, uh, that wind as the brother has said uh, it comes uh, and I'll tell you something you don't know Oh, uh, where it comes or where it goes. Uh, oh, praise God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can feel it uh, in the depths of my soul. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, when that little babe, are uh, uh, you saying back about uh, a little sister back there, uh, a child of God? Uh, uh, when she come walking up a lonely hill uh, uh, to meet her cousin there, uh, uh, bless God, yeah. bless God, uh, uh, Brother Sean. Uh, uh, when she came there, uh, and her cousins come out uh, uh, to meet her. Uh, hey, bless God. Uh, and she began to tell her uh, yeah. uh, what great things God uh, has done to her. Hey, praise, praise God. God. Uh, praise God. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth said uh, uh, she declared that within her womb uh, uh, she felt the babe. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
saw a man on the shoreline, didn't they, brother? They saw him over there. Somebody said, somebody said it's the Lord. What did old brother Peter do? He put, his, he, put his, he put his fisher's coat on, didn't he? 
jumped right over. I don't think he even considered that water that was there. He wanted to get to the Lord. And everything in his mind, his heart, and his soul, he wanted to be where Jesus was. Let me ask you something. Does that sound familiar? Amen. Yeah, that sounds so familiar. I believe we're kindred Amen. brethren. And that, I tell you, I just want to be where my kindred in Christ are. I want to be where Jesus is. I want children of God uh, to answer the call. Uh, he come to the shoreline there. Uh, and children of God, he had a little coal fire going there. Uh, and on that fire, uh, he had a fish. A uh, uh, children of God, he was there under them there. Uh, uh, something that's good for you and me today. Uh, I believe we've been blessed to come and die. We've come to the God to the king's table like all the FIBA chef did. We've been blessed, you and I, uh, to come into the king's house. We've been blessed to sit uh, with kings and princes. We've been blessed uh, to eat that food. Uh, Brother Sean, uh, uh, but I'll tell you something that I need there on. And never die. Uh, uh, bless God's holy name. Uh, and I'll tell you something else too. Uh, uh, these brethren that were out there uh, all night long, uh, uh, the Lord asked them a question uh, as he he asked you a question. Uh, he asked him a question. He said, uh, Have you any fish? Uh, have you any? They said, No. Uh, no, we fished all night long. Uh, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, have you labored uh, all night long? Uh, have you been there? Uh, in other words, uh, have you followed after uh, uh, what was in your heart and uh, your mind to do? Uh, I've done that. Yes. I went to the right yeah. and to the left. Yeah. But I'm thankful, brethren, right. that I'm held to a plumb line. Yeah. Hey, children of yeah. God, yeah. of Jesus in His mercy, He said, Now, now do what I told you to do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you cast yeah. that man on the right side. Yeah. Cast it on the right yeah. side. Yeah. Hey, you know the story of how that goes when you do whatsoever the Lord bids you to do. Yeah. Hey, they had, I believe, 153 fish yeah. in that net and they began to pull it to shore. And they had such a struggle doing it, but the net was not broken, did not tear. Hey, children of God, the advice there is the same advice that the mother of Jesus I gave them at the, at the marriage center. Uh, children of God, whatsoever that the Master commands you to do, you do that. Hey, children of God, and your nets will be so full uh, that you can't hardly drag them. Hey, children of God, let me tell you something today. Uh, you can't do nothing, you and I. Uh, uh, we can't do nothing uh, of ourselves. But let me tell you something else. Through and by Jesus Christ, yeah. this book tells me, my life, children of God, yeah. tells me, yeah. I've got a witness in here yeah. that tells me, yeah. We can do all things through Jesus Christ Amen. who loves us, carries us. And children of God, you and I, like the book says, bless God's holy name. We need to push forward. Press on, press on towards the prize. This mark of the high calling. Because it is in Jesus Christ that we live, that we move, and that we have our very being. It's not you and I, our children of God, but it's of God who willeth. Our children of God, He just blesses you and I. And let me tell you something. He has blessed you and I with blessings that are immeasurable. We can't even begin. Our children of hope are to measure them. The Bible puts it like this. And as I take my seat, I leave you with this. Our children of God. Hey! The half children of hope. It's not yet been told. And if it's this good on the side of the river, what's it going to be like over there? I don't know. Hey, children 
of God. But we can witness with this that was said so long ago and restated many times here through the weekend. Hey, children of God, I thank my God. I has not seen. Ear heard. Ear has not heard. And it's not even entered into the heart of man. What great things God has prepared for them to love Him. Do you love Him? Amen. Amen. Do you love God with all your heart, soul, mind, body, and strength? He gave that to you. He came to where you were. My story is a little intersection down there on the corner in Belleville. I was headed to a place to do things I ought not to be doing. And Jesus spoke to me there. I didn't hear him with these words. But I sure heard him in here. In heart, oh, that small yeah. still voice spoke. And let me tell you something. My life. It's not been the same since from now. And I'll tell you something. I don't want to go back. Oh, the Bible tells me that no man. Having fit his hand to the plow. Turn me again. It's fit for the kingdom. And I'll tell you something. Go back. I want to be in the kingdom. I, do too, I want to dine with you. Yeah. I like the little sister. Like I said, there's no beginning of time with this. Right. Nor any right. other. Just like that little sister stated so many generations ago. I want to live with you. Yeah. Hey, I want to be with you. Yeah. I want to worship with you. Yeah. I want to go to sleep yeah. with you. Yeah. Hey, I want to wake with you. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'll tell you something. Yeah, I want to God to be mine. In that day, we're going to see Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to see Him whom our soul loveth. Yeah. We're going to see Him, our children of God, how that we look for. And with the greatest of expectation. And it don't stop there. We'll be like Him. Yeah. How many moments of satisfaction do you have here in this life? The Bible, we got a song that says this. Few moments of peace we employ. And they are succeeded by pain. Is that your case? It's mine. But I tell you something, Bill. I'm looking for Him. I'm looking for Him. And I've got this promise. To them that are looking for Him. He shall appear the second time. Yeah, to be a second time, there must have been a first. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That you mercy on this unworthy sinner. I thank you. Praise his name. Praise the name of God. Let's not take this lightly. Let's take this for what it is, children of God. It's a gift of God. God gives this to you. He said, it's my Father's good pleasure uh, to give unto you the kingdom. Uh, and what are you supposed to do in His kingdom? Uh, he said, you nourish and you keep it. Uh, and you fail not to assemble yourselves together in her. You get out. Be among God's people. Because let me tell you something. I say this. I lie a lot too. I said I was sitting down. Hey, I'll tell you something, children of God. When I come down here into these beautiful, beautiful natural hills, I see these spiritual hills that mean so much to me. I think about our forefathers, how the ones that I've been blessed in my lifetime to wrap these arms around and to hug them. And to thank God for them. Yeah. They mean so much to me. And I think about them. They're asleep now. But let me tell you something. The ruts. Uh, the ruts children of God that they wore. In this path they're deep. They're deep. They're solid. They're secure. And my Bible tells me the same thing I told them. Seek them children of God. Seek out them old paths. Yeah. And when you find them, it doesn't say if. It says when you find them, how you live in them, find in them, walk in them, for their end. For their end. You're going to find something. You have rest, peace to your soul. It's food, ain't it? I love each and every one of you. And I thank God for you. And I love this also. I've got to share this. Our children of God. 
We may live three or four hundred miles away. But I'll tell you this. This book tells me that there's nothing that can separate you and me from the love of God. Amen. Neither height nor death, principalities nor powers, nor things present or past or even life nor death. Not even 500 miles or 1,000 or 2,000. It don't matter. Our children of God and you and I we're knit together by the love of God. That's what's in our heart. Brother, I can hear a song 400 miles away. And I'll tell you something. I can pray for you. And you can pray for me. And let me tell you something. I have felt it many times in my life when I'd be in trouble. I'd see my brothers and sisters. And I'll tell you something. It renews me. Yeah. It renews me. Yeah, and child yeah. of God, God, we're blessed again yeah. to soar into the high country. Yeah. Yeah. So let's press on. Yeah. Press on. Praise God. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. And let me tell you this. I'll leave you with this advice. Whatsoever that the good master puts in your heart to yeah. do whatever he commands you. Do it. Do it. A child of God. And in it, you'll be blessed. The Bible tells me. And my experience tells me that you'll be blessed with blessings. He'll pour them out on you. Yeah. That you can't even contain. That's right. God bless yeah. y'all. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank the Lord. Yeah. Praise His name. He's worthy to be praised. Yeah. God, God bless you. Back. Thank the Lord. Thank you for your prayers. Love that. You ever hear anything spoke from this pulpit from any man that ever breathes the breath of air? Raise your hand. Because yeah. that's where it comes from. I'll tell you. I got a hush. God bless you. Thank the Lord. Come on, Lord. That's a word. That just takes one word. Appreciate it all that's come here. Amen. Yeah, boy. And supported this annual meeting. Yes. I said here Friday night, I believe. It ain't. It ain't Blackberry's annual meeting. It's Matrix mm -hmm. annual meeting. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. And we got a duty to fill your seat. Close and sick. And help your brothers and sisters along the way. Yeah, so they've had a lot of help here from sisters that have fixed yeah. it. Amen. And Thank they everybody. appreciate it. And the association appreciates it. So we've had good preachers. Every one of them they yeah. blessed. <coughs> and yeah. it's now time to uh, come to the end of this annual meeting. Taking time, brother. Right? No, no. They've been fed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't founder them. <laughs> and, uh, brother, old brother Vance Jones always said, leave them wanting a little bit because if you feed them too much, they won't come back. <laughs> <laughs> so you can bull the crowd to death. Yeah. I'll brush and the Lord don't put no far to it. And he'll put that far to it pretty quick. He didn't be out of the way. So it's been good. We gotta <coughs> bury this brother here shortly. And anybody else that would desire to go the way of the liquid grave, and you are not putting away the filth of the flesh, but you are answering a good conscience toward God. God never called you in this world to go out and be rowdy. Called you. And you know what the whole duty of man is? Fear God and keep His commandments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the whole duty. And we try to do that duty. But we do fail. Oh, I oh, so if you think, if you think you've got to wait till you're perfect, you uh, don't understand it. He saved sinners. All of sin and come short of His glory. Amen. So if you want a home with the primitive Baptist, you've got to go through the water. You've got to go through the water and it'll take you into the full fellowship of the church. You gotta make a confession. You gotta confess that you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. 
You've got to believe that He's the right. one that took care of your sin. If you didn't believe in Jesus Christ, they won't baptize you. No. no. Need to be. So, so if you want a home, you let it be known to any of these brethren. You come yeah. at any time. And they'll talk to you. And they'll take you out whenever you want to go. Amen. You'll choose whoever you want to baptize you. Well, so anyway. You can choose wherever in the old Baptist you want to put your letter. Yeah. That's your home. You put your letter. If you want your letter in Washington Association at one of their churches, yeah, they'll take our work. Mm -hmm. That's why we have association. Yeah. Yeah. We're in fellowship and full agreement on the doctrine yeah. and the principles yeah. of the old Baptist. Amen. Yeah. There's rules to follow in this. Yeah. Yeah. And when you get out of order with what the old path is, they'll drop fellowship with you. Mm -hmm. That'll happen. They'll warn you. You go ahead and do it. They'll drop fellowship with you. And when you want your fellowship back, you'll come to them and apologize for what you've done. So it's the same thing with a member of the church. No matter what you go out here and do, you got to come back to the church that you left in. Amen. I can't go to another church. I have to come through the church that I left in. And I got to make a heartfelt apology that I left the way. Amen. Church never left me. I left the way. Amen. That's what you got to do. One on nine. So while we sing, that church door is open. Yeah. Shake hands with one another. You don't know what the Lord will <coughs> take my breath tonight. He don't owe me no breath. When you slept last night, who watched over you? <laughs> the Lord watched over you. Yeah, there it is. He sees all things. You can think you hide something in the closet, the Lord knows all about it. Amen. Sing it.
from Camry's Blues. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right. Okay. What I thought. I could, uh, Brother Vance Jones or something, Norman, if you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I met old Norman's house. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they went somewhere to a reunion or something to give us their house. Jerry Brown down there had a time in the way. Huh? Uh, I didn't have much house left when you got back. You said here out there. Here. We're going to do it all in here. Okay. After the prayer, get around out <coughs> to the end of the lunch room out there the baptistry. And Brother James will get ready. I'm ready myself. I am too. But the day's ready, so. All attention to the bride. <coughs> All hearts and minds are clear. We look to the Lord. <coughs> Heavenly Father, God, we pause once again, Lord, to give you thanks. Yes, Lord. Heavenly Father, we we have so much to thank you for. But Lord, we just want to thank you for what our hearts have felt here today, what our ears have heard. We thank you, Lord, for reviving us today. Yeah. Yeah. Father, I know I needed this. Uh, and I thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. Lord, I ask that you would look down upon each and every person and each and every home that is represented here. 
And all that are under the sound of my voice, Heavenly Father, if it could be your will, Almighty God, I pray, Lord, that you would touch them. Lord, that you would minister unto them according to their needs. And Heavenly Father, whatever it is, Lord, that they stand in need of, yeah. Reach down, Heavenly Master, and bless them with it, Lord. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the sweet messages that we've heard here today. Yes. Lord, we feel like these messages came from a far country, and Lord, we just have a longing, Heavenly Father, to one day be there. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we praise your high and holy yes. name. Yes. Lord, we Thank you for these dear elders and these yeah. brethren that you've sent this way. And we pray, dear God, that you would lift them up, that you would continue to lead, guide, and direct them, Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray for this little church and this congregation that's gathered here. Lord, we pray for this association and our sister yeah. association. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord, that you would open up the windows of heaven in the coming days, weeks, and months as we begin our communions, Lord, that you would let the love and the mercy, Lord, from heaven's throne just flow down and touch each and every one of us. Lord, bless us to lift up our voice in praise, and Heavenly Father, bless us, Lord, that we might be able to lift up our hands and praise your high and holy name. Heavenly Father, now, Lord, as we keep with your ordinance, dear God, and we take this precious brother down to the water, Lord, we ask Almighty God that you would stir up the water just one more time. Yes, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. we pray, Heavenly Father, that you would uh, go down into that water with these precious brethren, Lord. Yes. Heavenly Father, we ask for your hand and your blessing upon this work that we're about to yes. do, dear God. And oh, Heavenly Master, Lord, as these brethren have said, that it's the answering of a good conscience toward God. We pray, Almighty God, that you would uh, bless this brother to find some peace, Lord, at the water hole. And Heavenly Father, when he comes out of the water, dear God, we pray, Almighty God, that you would just touch him. And that you would walk with him, Lord, and that you would lead, guide, and direct him. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, once again for all that you have done for us and all that you're going to do yet for us, Heavenly yes, Master. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we thank you once again for what we felt here today, dear Lord, and we lift up your high and holy name, sweet Jesus. We may ask all these favors and all these blessings and we give all this thanks in the greatest name yes. that we have ever uttered on our lips and that is the sweet name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.